Hello everyone, it's me, the biggest hypocrite on the internet. We are back with another worst of Twitter video to see what's the worst that society has to offer. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Bro, these dudes have to have like a humiliation kink or something because why would you pay someone $150 to degrade you in public and then you film it and then post it and brag about it like i swear some of these people just have too much money on their hands because like what did you even get from that my wife 26 female and i 26 male have been together for 10 years and married for two years she is currently on vacation with two of her friends both female she just called me a few minutes ago clearly very upset and crying but also drunk she explained she let another guy kiss her that was just a quote-unquote peck she says she couldn't keep anything from me and how much she loves me in our relationship. She says she told the guy it means nothing to her and that she is happily married, yet she couldn't say that beforehand. I tried to calm her down and say she doesn't need to cry or get worked up over it, and she felt like I was just saying that so she won't be more upset than she already is, which is partially true. I told her regardless, now is not the time to talk about it since she is drunk and is likely wouldn't be a productive conversation. She is back at her hotel and obviously feels guilty about it and the situation and there is further conversation to be had. I do feel a little angry and sad and upset, but I'm also still processing because I never thought something like this would happen in my relationship. I love her very much and she is my life partner, but I can't help but feel a little betrayed and like the trust is broken. No shit. I don't want to be upset because it probably didn't mean anything. Okay, but I am still in shock and pretty upset. How should I approach this conversation at a later time when she is sober? I think this is pretty simple how to approach this conversation. Just say we're through and have a nice life because if she betrayed your trust like this i mean that's it the relationship's done it's over there's no getting over someone cheating on you i, I don't think anything else needs to be said hopefully this dude has some self-respect and is able to see that what <laughs> thanks for the Advice. You mean like this? <laughs> now, for the initial incident, I was definitely on the biker side. I feel like the lady could have waited for the guy to pass. She kind of almost caused an accident right there. But then this fucking idiot decides to just. I don't, I don't know, he was pissed off and he decided to cause a scene by just swerving into oncoming traffic like an absolute maniac. He could have absolutely just died right there, but I don't know if he was trying to prove a point or something. And you can see him pass a cop and the cop speeds up in front of him. Hopefully he was speeding up to like, you know, uh, I don't know, I guess stop him or intercept him or some shit because this dude's fucking crazy. What the hell is wrong with this dude? This is why people don't like cyclists, by the way. This dude gives them bad names because this dude is absolutely fucking insane. Back on r slash last images, we saw a similar post to this one. Basically, someone uh, with their last image, but there's an animal in the photo. And again, for some reason, this is a bannable offense. <laughs> and it was taken down. I, again, Reddit fucking moderators are the saddest people on earth. Are you happy? Do you dare? My brother has just drowned, okay? It's not my fault he can't swim. I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't know the context to this clip at all. I don't know why she was initially yelling at him, but I just thought this video was so outrageous. Like this little clip. This dude's a freaking super villain. Even the way that he laughs afterwards after saying that shit. Like like he is a super villain, and I'm pretty sure he made that lady a freaking uh a villain. Freaking this gave her, her origin story, because that was like, dang, you can hear it cry in the background. <laughs> like this dude's evil. Now, this is one of the posts that I truly hope are either rage bait or what some people in the comments have called honey pot which is basically you know cops being undercover uh trying to get people to slip up and arrest them and shit like that i guess but not safe for work dads who are attracted to their daughters and then there's people actually agreeing to this shit like i don't even want to read the stuff that's actually on here because this is the most disgusting shit i've seen and of course it's from reddit like I mean, there's real people out here who probably do think this shit, but I, I truly hope this is fake because this is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Bye. 
Watch it, bro. Now it would be pretty hypocritical of me to judge this guy considering I, I'm not too confident in my own swimming abilities. I have been to water parks before, but I don't know if I want to test it out like in a deep pool or anything. But I'm still going to make fun of him. Now this dude's stupid. Like, If you know you can't swim, why would you go into like a deep ass pool like this? Did he just not know about it? Did he not know he was going to drop? <laughs> and like oh, he, go, he was almost drowning the fucking life no he pretty much was drowning the lifeguard do some research beforehand or something dude now i've heard some stories of people dying over some pretty small things some petty things but this is up there well no one died in this situation but this lady 32 year old samantha anthony freaking shot up a mcdonald's because she didn't have her freaking hash brown or something and her fucking biscuit she said that she didn't get it but apparently that shit was on her lap so not only is she a maniac for shooting up a fucking McDonald's, she's also fucking stupid. Or maybe she's so damn fat that she fucking ate it instantly and just had the rapper sitting there. And she's like, oh, where, where'd it go? Like, bro, this is so outrageous. Imagine you almost losing your life because some fat bitch shot you over a hash brown. That is so insane. <laughs> Like, bro, I don't understand these people. People like this and people who have those big-ass signs. Like, there are other people behind you who are just trying to enjoy the show. They don't want to see your big-ass fucking covering them up or there's your stupid-ass sign that took you two hours to make. I guarantee you, the person performing does not give a shit, bro. Like, like if you just have to be an inconsiderate-ass person to do this, to pull this type of stunt. I'm married to a sex worker. Oh, boy. This has literally never happened one time ever while we were together. The closest thing I've ever seen was that some dude had psychological issues with sex and was trying to use escorting as exposure therapy. He booked four times and was able to work his way up to sex on booking number four, but not the first three. You're a full on cuck, LMAO. Even her clients don't think that. A guy who's spending more money per hour than I've ever earned in a week gets pretty uncomfortable to know he's funding my existence, especially if he asks about what I'm like. This is very much the opposite of what cuckoldry is. A lot of what I'm here for is because I'm really good at emotional support after a booking because having sex with these guys isn't easy. There is a reason why it costs so much and it's not what you're imagining. Uh, I don't know, buddy. I feel like this guy's coping. Um, sure, you make you might make a lot of money, bro, but this seems like a sad existence in my opinion. Honestly, do whatever you want in your life, but personally, this is not the way I would go about for a relationship. I'm literally at the airport at the self-checkout machine buying a water. Self-checkout. Who, who is this even going to? Like, I'm, again, self-checkout. Now, probably the number one thing my broke ass has been complaining about on this channel is tipping. And I'm gonna do it again. Now, I haven't personally experienced this, but tipping, self-checkout? What the actual fuck is even the point? Who are you tipping? The robot? Like, this can't be real. Like, this is taking it to new heights of stupidity. Like, I, I hate the tipping culture so much. But I'll stop right there because I've, I've already talked about this a lot, like on multiple videos. But I'm going to keep it short. Tipping should be a form of gratitude, should not be a requirement. Jobs that pay below the minimum wage should be raised up to the minimum wage. And I feel like only certain jobs should be, you know, tipped like uh, delivery drivers or waiters slash waitresses. Definitely not like a Starbucks barista or definitely not in this situation either. Now, welcome back to your daily dose of racism. So besides this just being disgusting, you know, having this dirty ass mop over the french fries or whatever, why are you doing this? Can't you just like wring out the mop if you want to, you know, dry it in order to use it again to soak up more liquid? Like, why are you using the fucking heat lamp? Like, not only is this disgusting, but it's also just stupid. So I'm going to talk over this part since, you know, there's not really much for you to hear. The dude just kind of asks them why they're doing this. 
and so yeah these assholes are stealing a bunch of soap from some store or whatever but the dude recording he's an employee was actually fired like he didn't even like uh, assault them he didn't touch them he didn't even say any mean words to them like and he was fired over just recording them which i find absolutely wild he does touch the car and he like removes like they had like tape or this little aluminum foil to cover it up you know those sad fucks but like he didn't do anything but he got fired over this shit that's like that's so damn pathetic i do want you to hear this one part though as one of these losers is almost left behind oh damn my god you really did your big one how much is it again you owe me 350. what happened 350. yeah how so um your wigging saw was 200 then you have same day customization and then you're gonna have to pay me for yesterday's work as well I'm not even gonna lie, like no disrespectful shit, but I'm dead not paying 350. Um, I can give you 200, but I'm dead not giving you 350. Um, we could probably um, we're gonna have to. I'm not gonna lie, there's no working nothing out. Like I'm dead on skip not giving you 350. Oh well, then if you don't want to give me the 350, we're just gonna have to take your wig off. Like I don't feel comfortable take, with you recording me. Take stuff. what wig off. I'm gonna record because you're not gonna tell me not oh, to record. Oh, me too. Well, I'm gonna have my video as well. So. I don't care. Okay, well, you're gonna pay me three fifty, or I'm gonna take the wig off. Step I'm not that. paying you three fifty. Honey, I'm. I don't. I don't want to step on your toes here, but you're gonna take that wig off if you're not gonna pay me. Three, I'm sorry, you're not giving me two hundred for that. And yesterday's work and today, it's not happening. Respectfully, respectfully I'm only giving you. Right. You know, I'm gonna record you guys respectfully. You're not gonna get you crazy. I'm gonna give this to I'm my lawyer. I'm not getting crazy. This is removed. Why are we gonna not... start living? Giving you 350. Okay, so just sit back and we're just. I'm gonna get up and get my no, bag in okay, debt. Okay, so this is what we're not gonna do. I'm gonna get up and get my bag in debt. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure if this video is even real. I saw a couple comments saying it's fake, and I saw some person mention that there's more to this video. Apparently, they get into a fight or some shit. But it just seems weird to me. Like, you know, she starts recording and then she just starts off by saying, um, How much money is he gonna be? It's, oh, I'm only gonna pay you $200, by the way. Like, like what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, I want to believe that someone isn't this fucking stupid or freaking conniving. Like, what the fuck do you mean? I'm only going to pay 200 No discussion. You should have had this conversation beforehand. Like, you, what, you're just going to steal, record yourself stealing and upload it on the internet? Like, it just seems wild to me. Like, I, like I want to say people aren't this stupid, but obviously there's motherfuckers out there uploading themselves committing crime. So this could be true. And if so, this lady's a piece of shit. If you can't afford the thing, don't buy it or don't order it, you bum. But that's all I got. To the two people watching, thank you.